what's going on guys making a video today showing you the new gun I just picked up um, and all the mods that have been done to it so far and this is gonna be my next build and if you can tell by the sight right here it is a Glock here it is it is a Glock 34 the nine millimeter you see right off the bat it's got gold stainless steel pins does absolutely nothing but looks except for the stainless steel and not plastic it's got an ex a gold extended mag release button which i am going to replace because i do not like it the gun is empty and safe so that brings me right next to the next thing that's in here is an agency gold barrel it is threaded which is going to be obviously for suppressor when i put it on here uh, also i might even get a matching agency um compensator well i'll probably get a black one but it'll be agency uh let's see next here is apex trigger red and white flag this is a zev base plate back plate and the reason that is there is because this gun actually has the zev upper parts kit it's got a zev firing pan plunger the whole every piece up top is from the zev kit um, another thing that you can kind of notice right off the bat is if you know any if you know your guns and glocks and stuff this is not a stock or factory slide um it is a slide that came out came with or off of a po polymer 80 build um the guy i bought this gun from he's a good friend of mine he put this gun together Every, like everything you see here he did um, full disclosure I didn't do these mods but what was awesome about this is uh, he was in a tight spot he needed some money he sold me this for a damn good price and thing is I was gonna put this exact same barrel in it exact same trigger now I wouldn't have done the red flag I probably would have just done either a black or just or a red trigger but I do I have an, a red apex trigger in my Glock 19 build so yeah my glock 19 build is going to get this exact same barrel as well so yeah i would have done the same things so that's cool uh my glock 19 build which i don't i haven't showed on this channel yet you're going to see that soon uh it has full slide work but it's a factory slide but it's been cut coated. it has an arm uh it has a spot for uh red dot uh, my 19 has a vortex venom though this uh is also ready for an optic so i will take this plate off and get me an optic for this too so basically this gun this glock 34 it's a gen 3. this gun is going to be like a race gun or like a full gucci build for me so yeah i've gone over what's done to it so let's wrap this video up with my fu my future plans for this um i will be um i'm gonna be doing a zev magwell i am eventually gonna send this thing off and have the frame uh stippled and undercut trigger round this off i'm gonna have the whole framework done uh i'm gonna be getting an extended slide release a ghost probably probably an ndz extended slide lock lever because that thing sucks it's so tiny the stock one um, I'm going to be doing Trigicon uh, suppressor height sights like I have on my Glock 19. Uh, let's see what else. I'm going to get a TLR 1 like I have on my Glock 19. That'll probably be all I do to this gun. Then, um, I do think I'm going to try to source a factory 34 slide. 
and have that sent off to Boogeyman Customs in Arizona. They, they're the ones that did my Glock 19 slide. And yeah. Um, I just don't know how reliable or how good these slides are. So that's why I don't want to send this one off and have it you know, have any cuts or Cerakote done to this. I mean, if anything, I'll probably have this slide Cerakoted, but I don't know about cut. I just don't know how reliable or how good it is, so we'll find out. Uh, haven't shot this gun, just got it today, but I'll be shooting this soon. Uh, I did shoot my Glock 43X today, though, for the first time. Uh, put about 150 rounds through that, and it was flawless. And I'm liking that gun a lot. I shot pretty accurate with it, so... All right, guys. Uh, it's real short. It, um, I'll actually add a little clip of me shooting the 43X after this. A little bonus. Thank you. 